Welcome to my crow room. It's the month of February and it's still cold here in Chicago, zone 5B. But in a few weeks, in the middle of March, I will be transplanting some of my seedlings outdoors with protection, of course. I will definitely show you how I do it. But now let me show you what I am growing as of now in February in my grow room which is upstairs in an unused space where I just set up some shelves and grow lights. So as you can see I've used simple materials to build my growing space. I just bought these metal shelving units from Home Depot. I had some at home and then I purchased a few extra. I installed some grow lights and then I decided to test regular shop lights and they work just as fine. So it's like a mix of different types of lights and different shelves. Always use what you have. Gardening should be simple, not complicated. So today is February 11 and some of these seeds I had sown in the end of January, two weeks ago, some last week. So let me show you what's growing here. This is kale, little seedling of Toscana kale. And that's red ursa over there in the back. And on the left of it is thousand head kale. I started these in little tiny cells and then a couple days ago I transplanted them into these red solo cups. Then over here I have some fenugreek. I love using fenugreek in my cooking so I decided to grow it this year. And over here I have some mix of peppers and tomatoes, some Tabasco pepper, also some fennel, black beauty, muscovitch tomatoes and some artichoke over there. Then over here on the right edge is some dill. So this was first top shelf. Now let's take a look on the second shelf and I have here some snapdragons growing. I think I planted two different varieties and they had sprouted and I pulled some out to give them some room to grow. I always like to do thinning so the seedlings have room to grow. This is geranium kiss tomato and some jalapeno and habanero peppers and in the back over there I have more cabbages. That's savoy cabbage. So all of the cabbages uh, and kales I had transplanted in these red solo cups. And this one was Brussels and this is Tetanoir, which is a redhead um, cabbage. Now here I have tomato seedling tray, which some of them are asking for transplanting already. Maybe this weekend I can do just that. And I have here a mix of different heirloom varieties of tomatoes. And in the back is another set of cabbages. Let's see which one is this. And that's a thousand head kale. In the beginning when the seedlings are tiny and small, they need to be closer to light. So what I'm doing here, I'm using some cardboard uh, boxes to keep them elevated. And then when they get bigger, I will remove those things and just have the seedlings on the shelf. Then here in the bottom shelf, I have some cauliflower and also I have some ornamental kale, which is an edible but really cute looking. And another cauliflower. All of these kales and cabbages will go out in March making room for all of those tomatoes and peppers which will need to be transplanted soon in the bigger cups as well. Now let's move to the next shelving unit in which I'm also using these boxes to elevate the plants 
and I have here more cabbages. This is purple Brussels, also some uh, Kaylan, which is I think Chinese cabbage, and Napa cabbage, which is also Chinese, but they are two different varieties. And these seedlings are, you can't even say that they are two weeks old, they look so healthy. Cabbages do grow fast. And this is the Savoy cabbage, which I really like a lot. And in the back over there I have a few tomatoes that are really tiny, but believe me, in a couple of weeks they will be as big as these cabbages. Now take a look at this peas. I planted it also in the end of January and look how big it already is. I think I did it on, yes, on 129. Yeah, that's two weeks ago and it grew so fast. Peas is a very fast growing plant, so you don't have to rush if you are not planning on having it outdoors in March, then don't plant it so early, but that's what I will be doing. I think I may repot it in the next couple days into bigger pots. More cabbages in the bottom. This is Brussels sprouts and there is ornamental kale in the back. It looks like I have too many cabbages, but I am planning on sharing with my friends, so don't worry, I'll find a home for them. And what is this? This is red ursa kale. Now let's take a look what else is growing here on this shelf. And to the left of the cabbages are more tomatoes. I have different varieties here. Um, also, there is one Malabar spinach that had sprouted already. It takes a while for it to grow. There is purple bumblebee, green grape, yellow stuffer, um, white currant, spoon tomato, and few others. Now let's move down here and I have a weird thing over here growing. That's sweet potato and I am growing it for slips. And here I have some Tulsi, which is holy basil, and some endive, and I think a few other lettuces. And there is a few more things like extra dill that I didn't know where to put. Now here I have more peppers and tomatoes. This is jalapeno pepper seedlings. That's geranium kiss, which is an early uh, short variety, determinate variety, and this is ghost pepper and serrano peppers. And in the back over there, I have pepperoncini and few other varieties. There is also black beauty and rosa bianca eggplants, and even some bulbing fennel over here. How cute is that little seedling! There is also celery starting to sprout and some stalk flowers, which take a while to grow as well. All of these were sown a couple weeks ago. And there is more cabbages. This is some Napa growing. You see, 125 they were planted. Those peppers are starting to develop their true leaves. So that means it's almost time to transplant them and that's what I'll be doing in the next few days. And here I have a few different varieties of lettuce. So this one is called bronze lettuce and the one on the left is called giant feather lettuce. I just transplanted them in these containers about a couple days ago. And there is more lettuce over here. I am growing romaine over here on the left side and solar flare variety on the right side. Then over here in the bottom I have fluorescent lighting, so it's not that great on camera, I'm sorry, but I have some eggplants growing here and some tomatoes as well, and I'm also using anything I can to keep them a little bit closer to lights, so like upside down plastic containers, even some cardboard boxes, because I want the 
distance between light and seedlings to be a couple of inches. Then over here I have some pansies growing. I also had planted a little bit of bunching onions. I need to actually give them a little bit of trim to make them stronger. And more violas and pansies. Let me take them out so you can see closer how they look. They are really cute as little seedlings. Not all of them had sprouted already, but most of them did. I also have some herbs and flowers here planted. This is gold chamomile, which is a perennial. And there is some foxglow and uh, bachelor buttons here. Just different um, annual and perennial flowers that can be started earlier. And I need to start getting them into bigger cups because as you can see, the roots are reaching the bottom of these seed pellets. And also I think I may need to even divide them up because I can definitely do some thinning, but I don't wanna lose, they all look so healthy. Same over here. A few different herbs. I have more fenugreek here and let me just show you how crazy these roots are. Look at that. They came out already. Fenugreek is actually one of the fastest um, seed sprouts I've ever seen. Like on the second day it starts showing up from the soil and it grows so so fast. I also have some cute little tarragon over here. I really like tarragon, so I try to grow it every single year. Now we have left only one last shelf and we have some pansies, more pansies. I planted them at different times, so this one I think was the earliest and the seedlings are the biggest. Then I have more peppers sprouting over here and some peas. This one is the dwarf variety of peas. It's called Tom Thumb and it's supposed to be at its tallest, I think eight inches tall. So a really compact, small variety. I'm thinking of dividing them up and transplanting into bigger cups. And uh, the peppers I have here are banana pepper, Lesia sweet pepper, um, Wonder Bell, Hungarian pepper, and um, Jimmy Nardello, and a few others. Then I have a cabbage that I didn't grow before. It's called Romanesco. It's this weird looking cauliflower uh, that has a green color. I really like the looks of it and I'm hoping that it will grow well for me. And then over there in the back I have some more stock flowers and some onions growing. And over here on the right side I am running an experiment. I never tried growing radishes indoors. I have successfully grown them outdoors but never did in the house and let's see if they actually grow then i have more tomatoes and peppers here first time growing 42 day tomato i got it from mi gardener hopefully it will be the earliest tomato i get and over here more tomatoes i have opalka tomato san marzano tropical sunset green zebra yellow stuffer um, and also I have a few basils. I have Persian basil, I have a purple ball basil. Look, it's so, so cute. And a few more varieties. I just planted them not so long ago, so not all of them had sprouted. I also had planted more peas and there was no room on the shelves, so I just left them in containers like that. And I have a heater here if, in case it gets really cold and I decided to sprout more peppers on this heater. Basically I use it instead of a heating pad. So that was all of my seedlings in February and I will definitely keep showing you their growth 
and then how I transplant them into my garden. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.